Okay, so today we're going to have a look at uh, a hunt group. I'm going to make this into an ACD hunt group. You might want to do this so that you can have greater flexibility of your hunt group members. So your agents can selectively bring themselves into or out of the group. Uh, and it also enables uh, better reporting inside of the uh, might help customer service manager. Okay, so quickly, this is uh, not a difficult thing to do actually. So if we just uh, navigate to uh, system and then to devices and feature codes and hunt groups and select the hunt group that we're going to make into an ACD group. Straight away you'll notice that uh, Agents at the top has uh, a red cross in it. This is to say that the, the hunt group isn't currently an ACD group. So let's enable the ACD features of this group. So if we select ACD hunt group and on the drop down select yes and then click off. And then at the bottom we can also select use ACD agent IDs. I want to select that to yes as well. Click off. Now as soon as you've done that, you'll see that agent has lost its red X and members has gained one. So this means that any members that are in the hunt group are now ignored and the agents list will be used. So you'll need to create some agent IDs that your agents will use to, to log into and out of the hunt groups with. So this is done by scrolling down on the left hand side and you want to be in hunt group related information. You only have one option in here and it's ACD agent IDs. So just select that and on the right hand side right click and create agent IDs. Create as many agent IDs as you like. The number range, uh, a lot of people like to keep it the same as the extension number but some people do like to say I will have 10 agents responsible for my customer services unit, I'll have 10 agents available for my technical services unit uh, so that people can hop into and out of these groups uh, and they're not really specific to, to people but in general practice it, it's usually better to, to tie down an agent ID usually to a, to, to a single person uh, for reporting purposes. So we're going to create 10 extension IDs and hit OK. So we can put descriptions next to these agents for reporting purposes. If we now go back to our hunt group and select agents and we right click in this and we can add to the agents list and we can add uh, we can also add an extension list which will ring a group of agents at the same time rather than just one of the agents. So just press next on there and select the agents you'd like to join this group and then select add items and finish. Now that that agent is a member of this ACD group the user just needs to log into the group this can be done by a button that is programmed up on the phone or it can be done by using the feature code. And we'll just have a quick look at what the default feature code is for this. So if we just click on feature codes and you can see here at the top ACD agent login but the one we would probably recommend that you use is the ACD agent toggle and the reason for that is it's only one code to remember and that will if the agent is logged in, it will log them out. If the agent is logged out, it will log them in. Excellent. I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, video, this instructional video. And for a, a free demo of the MyTel 5000 platform, uh, please do not hesitate to get in touch.